Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo and Rudy here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. What we're going to do here, we came up with a new method for brushing in our TRW rhinestones. And most of you right now are using your sticky plaque workstation sheets. We also are going to show you a method using a dry erase board here. So we're going to run through both methods here. Kind of give you an idea of how quickly one is compared to another. So Rudy and I are going to race here, have a little challenge. Obviously, we all know who's going to win and... We will go ahead and get started here. Now we're both brushing in the exact same template here. Sticky Plock template, TRW Crew, 281 stones in the design. So we're going to show you how quickly these brush in here. So let's go ahead and switch to the other camera here. All right, so we're over here at our station here. And we are ready to go ahead and get this challenge started. Ready? You ready, Rudy? Yeah. Set, go. So got it on my template board here. Now we're on the dry erase board on my side right here. And Rudy's using the sticky flock template material. So just gonna give you an idea of which way is gonna work a little bit quicker. And the rule is every single stone has to be in and flip the right way and I'm done. Rudy over here is still playing around with it. You gotta get all these stones out of there, Rudy. <laughs> so obviously with my dry erase board here you can see a difference the sticky flock it still works great using a sticky flock workstation sheet like this but you can see Rudy's got it all brushed in now but he does have one two two different stones that are still upside down as well and he was lagging about a minute behind there so now to make it fair what we're actually going to do is we're going to do another challenge here and I'm going to use an SS6 design because we all know that a lot of you get frustrated with the SS6 templates and brushing them in with the sticky flock. So I'm going to show you how the SS6 designs work with the actual dry erase board here as Rudy tries to finally finish up this design over here. So Rudy had to break out the tweezers, of course. This is not going to be on the video. Yes, it is. All right, so you can see the big difference we had there using the dry erase board. And basically what it is, we've noticed that sometimes with the flock fibers underneath, when you're using a sticky flock template and you put it on a sticky flock workstation sheet, the flock fibers on your workstation sheet is what causes the stones to jump out sometimes. Still very easy to do. He probably completed that design in a minute and a half to two minutes where it might have taken with the dry erase board 20 to 30 seconds. So when you're doing 100 designs or 100 different transfers, obviously that 30, 45 seconds is going to be a lot of time by the time you're done with all those. So now what we're going to do is Rudy's going to do the SS10 design again. I'm going to break out an SS6 design here. So you all know what it's like to brush in rhinestones with an SS6 template and sticky flock or basically any of the materials out there. I'm going to show you how much easier it is on the dry erase board here with an SS6 design. So let's go ahead and get that set up. All right, so we got all our designs set up here. Rudy's got the SS10, I have the SS6. We're just going to show you how much easier it is to brush around the stones, get it into the sticky flock template material on this dry erase board here. So ready, Rudy? Ready. Ready, set, go. Flip it over. I can take my time. I know I don't need to rush too much because I know Rudy doesn't stand a chance. When it comes to the challenges, I pretty much dominate everything. Rudy, you can say something if you want. You're allowed. I'm in the zone. Not now, Chief. Looks like I got one left. I'm gonna grab the little brush here. And that looks like our winner right there. So SS6s, I am completely done with my design now. Rudy still, and again, Rudy's still brushing them in on the sticky flock template material with the sticky flock workstation sheet. And it still is a pretty quick process. Again, 281 stones. He's going to do that design in a matter of probably 45 seconds to a minute. Where with the SS6 stones here and on the dry erase board, a lot quicker process to do it, obviously, in about half the time. So... All right, so we just finished the process here. Obviously, it's something that we figured out, something that speeds up the process of brushing in the temps a little, little bit quicker. And we, of course, wanted to share it with you guys. So Rudy really didn't stand a chance here. If, if Rudy would have been on this side doing it with the um, actual dry erase board and brushing it in, he would have killed me on it as well. So 
The good thing is, is I got to choose which station I worked on, and I chose the one that was obviously quicker and looked a lot better. So Rudy did a great job, just like all of you do, brushing it in on the actual sticky flock workstations. It is a quick process still. It's a, still a lot faster and being able to customize the sticky flock template material and use the individual letters and the multicolor designs with the elaborate anchor system. You can do a lot of different things with the sticky flock template material. Now you can brush in sixes, tens, sixteenths even quicker with a dry erase board like this. And one thing you do want to make sure you do with the dry erase board is make sure once you get it down on there after you're finished brushing in the design make sure to get it back onto your carrier sheet if you leave this on here for an hour or two hours that it's going to form a good bond with that adhesive it's going to eventually rip your template so just make sure you get it off this dry erase board as soon as you're done with the design so rudy you got anything for us today no nope, nothing today just uh hopefully this helps you guys and have a great day all right, TRW crew, this is Matt and Rudy with the rhinestoneworld.com, and you guys have a great day. Great day.